Well guys, welcome back to another episode and today I'm actually going to be fishing below one of my favorite dams and planning on going after striper and I'm hoping maybe I can also catch some bass and some white bass. I brought some stuff for that too. But when I'm my baits I'm going to be using, they're uh, Kitek Shiners and um, but basically a paddle tail and I have 4 inch and 3 inch and I really love those. They have really amazing action in the water and a thin profile. So that's what I'm going to be using. Probably going to troll for a little while and then I'll head up to the dam and fish around the dam. But if for some reason we know we're not catching striper or not finding them or whatever, I'll probably go after some bass too. And also I brought a spinner for white bass. So we'll just see how the day goes and uh, just going to enjoy ourselves today. It's, it's a little bit chilly this morning, but um you're supposed to get it to like 64 so it's going to be beautiful so can't wait let's catch some fish all right i'm going to get it out but what i'm going to be using i have a four inch on there and then i also got a three inch so hopefully that'll get it done a couple different sizes Second one out there. This is the three inch. Well, I'm all set. Now I just need a striper to take them over. So, uh, probably uh, troll for you know an hour or two. I'll be tired by then, and hopefully we'll have caught a couple by then. But we'll see. If not, then we'll head on up to the dam. Well, unfortunately, nothing on the troll. So, what I'm going to do is just make my way up to the dam and just uh, fish along the way and see what happens. Guys, got one. Got one. What are you? Probably a little bass. Ooh. Ooh, guys, that's a white bass. Oh, yeah. Got me a nice white, I think. Well, I could be wrong. Hold up. Yeah, I believe that's white bass. You know, this that's a big one, guys. This could be my first keeper white bass. They have to be 14 inches to keep. Wow, that's a good one. Come here, buddy. Whoa, guys, that's my biggest white bass. That has to be. Well, guys, here we go. I don't believe I've ever caught a white bass this big. That is amazing. Look at there. He's gorgeous. And uh, they have to be 14 inches to keep, and I've I've never caught a keeper, which there might have been one time where I let it go and didn't wasn't keeping any. That might have been 14, but I didn't measure it, so I don't know. But let's uh, measure it real quick. All right, let's see. Tip of the tail. Right there. Oh, yeah. That's about 15, 15 and a half. Just a little bit more than that. That's awesome, guys. My first keeper white bass. That is amazing. Yes. I'm going to get it on the stringer, and uh, we'll cook him up later. Guys, that is amazing. My first keeper white bass. I can't believe it. That's awesome. And it came on that little three inch paddle tail. So like I said, not it don't they don't just catch striper. They can catch anything. So they're one of my favorite baits to use. But what I'm gonna do, I'm right in this little area right here. And since I caught one in here, there's probably some more. So I'm gonna probably give this area uh 30 minutes maybe 45 minutes and really fish it hard because there could be a few more in here and then i'll keep heading up to the dam but i'm stoked that is awesome all right guys i'm gonna try my umbrella rig for a little bit um i actually saw a guy from the bank over there catch a couple striper so He's doing pretty good over there, but I'm not going to go take a spot. I'll go over to the corner, but maybe if he leaves, maybe we can go over there and catch a couple in that area. But I'm not sure what he's using, but he's got a couple nice ones. Got one. Oh, that's a good one. 
Good fish. Oh yes. That's a good fish, guys. It has to be a striper or a catfish. That's a good one. Oh man. Thing's huge. Well, he's fighting good. Woo! Right on the umbrella rig. Yes. What are you? Okay, come on, buddy. Woo! Oh, it's a catfish. Rats! I thought I had a striper. Oh, well. Come here, buddy. And I snagged him, too. <laughs> Oh well. Alrighty guys, there he is. Not what we were wanting. Thought it was a striper. But I just foul snagged it. So I'm gonna get him back in there. Goodbye. Whoop. Well guys, unfortunately that was kind of disappointing. I thought it was a big striper and then it was a foul snag catfish, of course. But oh well. We'll we'll catch one hopefully. Got one. Don't know what it is. But I got one. Don't feel very big as it goes. I think that's a catfish again. Yeah, it's a catfish. Unfortunately, I was hoping for a striper. But hey, at least he gave me some action. <laughs> it's about the same size as the last one. There we go. All right, guys, there he is again. Another catfish, not what we're wanting, but at least a bite. Whew. Well, guys, a little update. I haven't got any more bites except for those couple catfish, and uh, they started generating more water up here at the dam, and I can't really be by it no more. So what I'm gonna do is head downstream, try the area where I caught this white bass, and then head on downstream, probably try a few uh, shallow areas around there just explore uh, see maybe if the bass are getting ready to spawn see if I can find any of those uh, it's probably the water is still actually pretty cold so it's probably not that time quite yet but it should be here pretty soon but uh, just explore a little bit have some fun and try a few different things so hopefully we can get a couple more fish fish guys we're on that's a fish that's awesome I was just starting to troll back down because there was a place I wanted to check out and we got us one guys that's a good fish probably a catfish again but that's awesome yes I had just started to troll guys just started to because I, I just said, told you guys I was going to head down and try out a couple places down there. And that's what I was doing. <laughs> it just threw that out. Guys, you know what? I think that's a striper. <laughs> I think it is. That's awesome. I, I could be wrong. But this is feeling pretty good. And it's not a catfish. I saw the fins and stuff. <laughs> yes, guys. I'm stoked. Let's go. That's awesome. Woof. Drag pillin. I just this is not the toughest line, so I just hope hope it don't get off. Come on, buddy. 
I really thought I was stuck on something. Yeah, that's a striped bro or white bass, either one, but I'm pretty sure it's just, if that's a, if that's a white bass, it's a big one. Yes, guys, you don't know how stoked I am. Actually gotta put this back up. I have my one out. Oh wow, that's a good striper. Good striper, guys. Please don't get off. Please don't get off. That's a good one. No, don't get off. Come here, buddy. Ooh, I think that's a keeper, guys. If I can get it in here. Oh, that's a good one. That's a thick one. That might be my personal best striper. Okay. Oh, shoot. I don't know what just happened there, but... Come here. What in the... Okay, come here. Come here. Wow, guys, this is a big striper. No, no, don't get, don't get in that. Don't get in that. Come here. Come here, buddy. Oh, I need a net right now. Oh, I need a net. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh, he's barely caught, too. Come here. Come here. Oh, come on. Barely caught. Barely caught. Yes, guys. Yes. Guys, here he is. I already know he's uh, 20 inches, but I'll measure him here in a second. But look at this thing. I'm pretty sure he might be my biggest striper yet. <laughs> that is great, guys. Uh, I think I might have just caught my personal best uh, white bass and my personal best striper in the same day. Yes! I'm stoked. You don't know how stoked I am to catch some fish. Look at that thing. And I've been trying to catch striper for a while, so just to be able to finally do that is awesome. Yes, let's go. All right, let me let me measure him real quick. Let me find the measuring tape. All right. Oh, I'm shaking, guys. Just don't flop out, buddy. Ooh, yeah, that's what I don't want. Don't you dare flop out on me. All right. He is basically 24 inches, guys. That is amazing. That's my biggest striper. So I just caught my biggest striper and I caught my biggest white bass. That is amazing. And we're gonna cook them up here in a little bit, but I'm stoked. Oh man, yes. Wow, guys, I know I just went on about it, but to get my personal best white bass and then my personal best striper in the same day is amazing i am stoked um what i'm gonna do i literally had just started right there coming out of that little channel and i and i threw it behind me and was getting everything ready to troll down to an area i decided to fish down here and that thing slammed it i really thought i had caught something i mean it took it and i think i got it on uh film i hope so i hope i got to take down but we'll see um so what i'm gonna do is actually go back up to that channel and start trolling again maybe there's a couple more around there and then we'll go down to where i was going to fish but that's awesome let's catch some more hopefully well guys nothing else on the troll so i'm going to try right around in here it's like a little channel that comes off in here and i've caught some fishing here before so decided to give it a try and this is actually where i was headed when i caught that big one Guys, I got one. Ooh, I got one. That's awesome. Yes, I didn't even know I had it on. Ha <laughs> ha. That's crazy. Oh, and of course it got caught in the. All right. Didn't even know I had it on. It's a small one, but hey, look at here. Yes. Got us a nice little bass. Like I said, guys, not a big one, but hey, I'll take it. First bass of the day, or I mean, regular like largemouth. There you go. Goodbye, buddy. That's cool. Well, guys, nothing else in that little channel, just that little bass. So, all what I'm gonna do is uh, troll all the way down to another place I want to try, and then after that, probably troll on back up and then leave. So, hopefully, we can get something else. But if we don't, I am stoked with what we got. Well guys, I'm back up to the boat ramp. I didn't get anything downstream or on the troll, so I will see you guys back at the house when I cook the fish up.
All right, guys, I'm back at the house about to cook the fish up, but I've actually had striper before, but never white bass, so I'm really looking forward to see how that tastes. Let's get to cooking. Alright guys, this looks delicious. I'm going to pray real quick and then we'll dig in. Thank God for this food, blessed to our bodies, and for a good day. Amen. Alright, Logan, you want to try it first and tell them, tell them how it tastes? Yeah. Alright, try one some of that fish. <laughs> you got to even like taste it at first. Poor deal. Alright, Ken, let's see how what you think it tastes like. I'm going to try the meat first. Alright, try the meat first. Took a tiny little bite. Your meat? Alright, thumbs up from both boys. So that, that, let, me, let me see how this tastes. Oh, I guess we kind of mix. Well, no, this would be the white bass. So um, I'm actually. Hold on, let me get a drink. Okay, get a drink. Let me try a white bass, the white bass, real quick, and I'll see how that tastes. Oh wow, that is delicious, guys. Mm. Alright, now I'm gonna try the striper. Oh my Swiper. word. Isn't that delicious? Delicious, isn't it? Guys, that is amazing. Wow. Well, I'm going to finish that up. But thank you guys so much for watching. It was an amazing day out there to get two of my personal best uh, fish. That That's crazy. I was, I'm still yeah. in this place. So thank you guys so much. Were you wanting to say something? Yeah. No. I just got a drink by Greg. <laughs> All right, you just got Tell mom bye for bull guys. Okay, all right, calm down. All right, well, <laughs> thank you guys again. As always, I'll see you guys in the next episode. What guys, guys, we got some. Oh, right there. Oh, good fish. Good fish. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode. And you might recognize this place from my last episode because it is the same spot that we were in last time. And the reason I'm back this morning is I have very limited time to fish. Um, so, I, and I got onto some fish last time I was here. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go back there. Maybe we can get on some, to some more quality fish down here. And I'm really hoping to get some white bass. I've caught white bass before, but never a keeper. And I would love to catch a keeper. So that's the plan for now. We'll troll on the way up there and I'll see you guys out on the water. Hopefully we can get some fish. All right, we're just leaving the boat ramp. It is like glassy calm out here this morning. It's beautiful. So what I'm gonna do, I brought just a little paddle tail with me. Now white bass would hit that, it's small enough. And, uh, or a striper, so I'm just gonna troll that out behind me. Maybe even the spinner on our way up there and maybe we could get a bite. That'd be awesome if we could get one on the way up. Guys, we got something. We got something. <laughs> That's awesome. I was turned around and we got something. I bet this is probably a white bass. <laughs> That's great. Wow. It's not that big. But we got something on the troll. That is awesome. Come on. What are you? Guess I had that quite a ways out there. I bet it's a white bass. It's definitely not big. 
whatever it is. What are you? Yeah, not big at all. Nope, not big. Here we go, guys. There's a small one. I believe that's a little white bass right there. We will take him, even though he's not big at all, but it's something. So one last look at him, we'll let him go. Oh, there he goes, get out of here. Well guys, that's awesome, getting the first fish on the troll already, even though it wasn't a big one at all. So uh, we're gonna keep trolling up here where we don't have far to go, and uh, hopefully maybe we can get one more, which we don't have far, so it probably won't, but I'll see you guys up here. Well, we are up here just about where we're gonna fish, and I stopped to reel my poles in, and the one with the paddle tail on it got a huge knot in it, so I had to cut it, which I still have the paddle tail, but uh, I'm not gonna sure if I'm gonna take time to retie and everything, because like I said, I have very limited time out here, so I'm probably mainly just gonna throw around the uh, beetle spin and the golden spinner and see what we can do with that. Um, later, if we go up to the dam, I might put the paddle tail back on and throw that around some but uh for now we're gonna fish this spot for probably about 30 minutes if nothing we'll head on up toward the dam last time they were really cranking water out of here and we really couldn't get up there but i think it's manageable now it doesn't seem like near as much water is coming out so hopefully we can get on to some more that was cool getting one trolling so it's a beautiful morning regardless Okay, we didn't get nothing in here this time. Last time I caught a big shell cracker and a white bass in here. So we're gonna work our way up toward the dam. Hopefully we can get some more action up there. I think I might have got maybe a couple hits here, but nothing to take, so. But I, I believe we'll get some up toward the dam, uh, especially since they're not moving as much water. I think that's one reason why they were in here before is there was so much water going out there. They were kind of getting out of the current in here. Ooh, good fish good fish don't know what it is but it nailed it this is a bigger fish than last time definitely Woo definitely a bigger fish it better not be a catfish I'm gonna be mad if it's a catfish or not mad but it's gonna be aggravating no that's a white bass it's funny it's not very big but they hit so hard whoops sorry if I got water on the the lens we go it's another one it's funny they hit so hard that you think it's a big one and it's actually not here we go guys it hit it like a freight train but it's not a very big one let me just measure it real quick yeah it's only about 11 inches so we'll let it go. Get out of here. Goodbye. Thanks for biting. Guys, we got one. It's a good fish. Well, not huge, because I have this thing set pretty loose after losing the other one. It got off rats. Well, guys, we had another one on. That's two. I lost one. My other lure, it broke it off. And then I just had one right there get off. I don't think it was a keeper, but still been cool to get it in hopefully we can get a couple more bites
Oh, right there. That has to be a white bass. Woohoo! Tell you what, he creamed it. That is awesome. <laughs> I tell you what, white bass, I don't know how big it is because white bass fight so hard. And I have the drag set pretty loose because I don't want to lose it. Come on, buddy. Feels like a decent one, though. I creamed it right there. Yeah, it's not a bad one. I still don't think he's gonna go 14, but well, maybe so. That's a that's a that's a decent one, guys. Decent one. <laughs> he creamed it. All right, buddy, come up in here. Oh, he's not hooked good. Come here. That could be my 14. He's not hooked good at all. Come here. Come here. It's probably 12. There we go, guys. Let me see here. He could go 14, guys. He's going to be close, if not. Let me see. And we'll just take a look at him real quick, guys. Look at that beautiful bass. White bass. And that's a thick one. Alright, let's see. Please go 14. Uh, he ain't gonna go 14. Oh, God. oh, are you kidding me? He got off. He wasn't going to go 14 anyways, but wow. He got off. Pretty sure he wouldn't have went anyways, but it's alright. His 14 is way up here. I think he'd have been about 12, but that was a really thick one. But uh, we'll keep throwing back in there. That was cool. He hit that like a freight train. Even the small ones, it's crazy. Hit that thing so hard. But uh, hopefully we can get a bigger one. Well guys, I have to leave here pretty soon. So I think what I'm gonna do is head back down to where we first started and try in there for a little bit. And then we'll probably trawl on back to the boat ramp. But um, yeah, I guess I gotta go pretty soon. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, hopefully we can catch something back in that one spot. Even if it was like a big shell cracker or something. Cause those things fight hard too. It's just amazing to me how hard those fish fight for how big they are. Well, we just got done fishing here. Uh, we didn't get anything. So what I'm going to do is troll on back and I'll see you guys back at the boat ramp. Well, guys, we are back at the boat ramp. Um, we didn't get no more, but we I think we actually did pretty good for fishing only basically like three hours. So we did pretty well and I lost two. So that would have been two more fish and one that broke it or my line unraveled, whatever it was. That felt like a really good one, but they all feel like a really good one. But um, please let me know down in the comments what you guys like to use to catch white bass and as always I'll see you guys in the next video Alright guys, I hope you can see me. It's still very early in the morning and it's just the sun's just starting to come up. So what we're doing today is we're back down here at the river and this is actually where I caught my striper. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But um, we're down here and we're, what we're planning on doing is just going up to the dam and I want to see if I can get on some white bass. I've never tasted white bass before or had it so I would like to catch a few and hopefully do a cook, cook up. But they're 14 inch minimum so hopefully we can get a couple that are 14 inches but uh other than that just have fun out here it's a beautiful morning it's almost really cool so let's get out there and catch some fish
we got one. We got one, yes. I was just trolling up to the dam, guys, and we got one. It just took it down like crazy. I don't know what it is. That's awesome. It's not very big. But, man, that's awesome. That is amazing. We were just trolling again. For whatever reason, trolling up in here seems to work. That's twice now I've gotten them on trolling. I don't know what it is, but, oh, guys, that's awesome. I decided just to troll. Why, why not? Why we're going up there? Come on. See what you are. Hasn't been, hasn't really fought that hard. Oh, it's a striper. Yep, it's another striper. But it's not, it's not going to be a keeper, I don't believe. But man, look at here, guys. Awesome. Oh, get it back in here. Yep, it's a little striper. Um, ouch. Come on, stop, stop, stop. Alright, let's get you. Look at here, guys. A little striper. It's not big enough to keep. It's not long enough. I can already tell. Alright, guys. We're gonna let him go. That's awesome. First fish. Come here, buddy. Go ahead. Go on. There he goes. That's great, guys. Alright guys, we're almost up to the dam, but there's tons of stuff busting right here. So we're going to throw out real quick and just see if we can get something to bite. Because I mean, they're busting everywhere. I don't know what they are, but might as well throw out there. We're on guys good fish good fish whatever it is good fish hit it right there yes that's awesome Let's see what it is oh it's another striper look at there guys another striper but it's still too small Woo. but hey we got a striper again All right, guys, there he is, another beautiful little striper. Not big enough to keep again, but hey, that's awesome. All righty, let's let him go. Goodbye. There he goes. All right, guys, we have been up here for quite a while. I caught the one striper, but we haven't been able to catch a white bass for whatever reason. I've seen them busting. They just won't hit. I mean, I've tried different lures, different stuff. Sorry if I'm squinting, that sun is right in my eyes, but try different lures all that kind of stuff nothing so I think what I'm gonna do is I mean, we've caught two striper so I'm just gonna probably go troll for about two hours and see if I can't get another one hopefully maybe a keeper um so at least that's the plan for now I'm I had just put a paddle that paddle tail back on that I caught it with this morning and then I put a different paddle tail on my other one and I'm just gonna troll both of them out behind me and Hey, you never know, maybe we'll get something, but I'll probably just do that for an hour or two and then uh, we'll see from there, but hopefully we can get on to something else. We are on guys, yes, on again. Come on, it's not a big one again, but hey, at least it's a fish. I can tell it's not that big. Well, maybe it's getting bigger. Oh. Let's see what this is. What is that? 
What is, is that a smallmouth? Guys, I believe we just caught a smallmouth and I didn't know there was smallmouth in here. Yeah, that's a smallmouth. Look at that. That's a small, smallmouth. I didn't even know we had smallmouth in here. That's amazing. Well, we'll get him back in the water, but that's crazy. I, I really did not know we had smallmouth in here. Wow, that's cool. All right, we'll get him back in the water. There he goes. Well guys, we have struck out on the largemouth bass and the white bass, but hey, we got two striped bass, so I will take that out and uh, a smallmouth. So, and I didn't even know there was a smallmouth in here, so I will take that. We ne definitely didn't slay them, but hey, it's been a beautiful day out here. I will take what I got, so well, we're going to head on back, so thank you guys for watching, and if you guys like my videos, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Alright guys, good morning. Welcome back to another episode, and I'm pretty excited about this episode because I'm actually fishing a place I've never fished before. I've, I'm actually going up to the... Um, Paul's Reservoir Dam and I'm gonna be below it. I usually fish above it and I've never fished below it before and What we're planning on doing today this early morning. It's like seven o'clock or seven something And we're gonna go see if we can get onto some striper. I've never gotten on never caught a striper before So I'd love to catch a striper or there should be hybrid bass up there uh, I'm sure there's large mouth too. So I've never caught a hybrid either. So I love to catch either a striper or a hybrid so we'll go up there, fish for a few hours. If we don't catch nothing, then I think it's called the Uori River. I could be wrong about that, but there's a little river that flows in right here. And we can go try to catch some bass up that, like some largemouth or something. But it looks beautiful. It's gorgeous right now. It's like the perfect temperature right now, too. So we're just going to head upstream and hopefully we can get onto something. And I also got a new pole. Let me show you. I got me a mock smash bait caster because my other spinning pole was a little bit too small to throw like an a-rig i got an a-rig tied on there so i'm looking forward to throwing that this morning and then i got just a little swim jig on that or paddle tail and then a spinner bait and i have some other a lot of other baits too but we're going to start out with that could change but i'm I'm, I'm stoked and i'm ready to get out on the water so I'll see you guys out there. I'm just gonna throw right here because it just looks so freaking good for bass like that right there Beautiful cast. All right, nothing. Oh, guys, right there, right there, something. Right there, guys, awesome. I think that's a bass. Right there, guys, awesome. First fish on the paddle tail. I don't know what it is, I think it's a bass. All right, okay, come here, buddy. Yeah, first fish, guys. I believe it's a bass, let's see. What is that? 
What are you? Wait, guys, is that a striper or a hybrid? I'm trying to figure out what that is. That might be a striper or a hybrid. Let me let me see. All right, give me a minute. Let me get him. Let me see. Or a white bass. I'm not really sure what that is. All right, guys, my phone's not really working for me to look this up, but I think that's might be a hybrid bass, maybe. I really don't know. I will look it up later when I have some service, but I don't think that would be a keeper anyways. I think they have to be 18 inches, but uh, we are gonna put him back. That's awesome. All right, buddy, go on, come on. Hope that thing lives. Put it back in. But man, guys, that's awesome. Our first fish on the little paddle tail. There was something. I don't think that's a fish, though. Nope. got one guys off the rocks I got hooked up and then one came up off the rocks yes I don't know what it is Ooh, that's a that's a hybrid or a striper right there I think or no that's a white bass that's another white one that's another white one guys that's a good one too look at there oh, it was peeing on me but no that's a keeper white bass You know, I'm going to throw them on a stringer because we should get some service down there. And I'm pretty sure we can keep these. And that's it. That's a, that's a keeper all day anyway, if it is. Oh, shoot. They got away. And that's what they're eating right there. I was going to keep them. But it, I'm basically matching the bait with this bait. Wow, guys. I was going to keep him. That was a big one. Because I'm pretty positive that is a uh, white bass. Well, that was a bummer. Got out of my hand. Rats. It's annoying. It's all right, though. At least we caught him. It's funny. I got hooked on a rock, came up off the rock, and it got smoked.
Oh, got one, guys. Good fish, good fish. Good fish, yes. Good fish, I felt it. Cream it. Ah, don't get off. Stay down. Good fish. Good fish. What are you? Ha, another one, white bass. Yep, and you're going on a stringer this time. Yes. Stop. All right. Look at there, guys. Another beautiful white bass. Pretty white bass, look at there. And if we get any more, well actually we might cook him up too, we'll see. Just by himself, we don't get no more white bass, but get him on a stringer, get him back in there, and don't get away like the other one. There we go. That was awesome, man, he hit hard. Beautiful white bass. All right. Awesome. Catch us another one. All right, guys. It is like 936. So I think what I'm going to do, we caught, I believe it was the three white bass, and I kept one, and I caught that large mouth over there. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to head on downstream to, there's a, like a little river that comes in down there, and I'm going to go fish that for some large mouth for a while just to change it up and I want to kind of explore because I've never really been there but I'm definitely going to come back to this spot sometime and try to get some more white bass or striper or anything. I know there's supposed to be striper and and a hybrid bass in here in here so we'll just see what happens but I, I'm definitely going to come back again but for right now I think we're just going to head on down. We might fish a little bit on the way down but I mean, it was productive up here. It's fun. This is actually a beautiful day because it's overcast and it's not too hot. So it's just gorgeous out here. I'm having a blast. So that's what we're going to do is head on down that way. Guys, I was just trawling the swim bait out behind me, and we got us a good fish on here. We got us a good fish. I don't know what it is, but it's a good one. I was just trawling. I was just trawling, and it creamed it like it took it completely over. I don't know what it is, but it's a good fish. Goodness. That's awesome. Ooh. That is great. I was just trolling it. It's uh, um, creamed it. It's either uh, for how as hard as it's fighting, I would say that's either a hybrid striper or largemouth. Because it is fighting like crazy. Stay down. Don't be jumping. Ooh, that's a good fish. I mean, he just doubled my pole over. What are you? That's a striper, guys. That's a striper. Yes, my first striper. Yes. Don't get off, please. That's my first striper. That's a good one, too. That's a keeper right there. I'm pretty sure. Don't get off. Yes, guys. Look at here. My first striper. Yes. Oh, wow. I didn't have him good at all, did I? Okay. Don't. Well, maybe I had him better than I thought. Yes, guys. Just trolling. Look at there, beautiful bass. Now, I believe they have to be 18 inches. So what I'm gonna do is keep that thing hooked. All right, guys, I'm gonna keep that thing hooked. I'm gonna go get a uh, measuring tape, make sure it's 18, because I think it's 18 that it needs to be to keep. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, guys, that is 20 inches. It's a keeper. So we're gonna keep them and eat them. That's my first ever striper. That is amazing. I mean, look at him. Beautiful fish. I wish I could have got the strike on camera. I was Like I said, I was just trolling the bait out behind me while I was going down to this creek. And my pole 
literally doubled over. I mean, it was amazing. So what we're going to do is go ahead and get him on a stringer and we're going to head on down to the, uh, well, I might go up a little ways and then troll a little bit back down to that uh, stream. All right, guys, what I'm going to do is go back upstream toward the dam and then keep trawling back down toward that stream and maybe I'll get another striper. That was amazing. That's my first striper. I'm elated and it was a keeper. So oh my gosh, I'm so excited. That was amazing. Well, we caught those white bass up there, caught a striper. That's awesome. I, I'm ecstatic right now. another one another one we got us another one guys this has to be another this has to be another uh stripe oh we got off wow that was another bass though wow Rats. we got off all right guys i'm making my way back down to the uh little river that comes in here and I'm gonna actually let that white bass go because I was just able to get service and it service and it says 14 inch minimum and that's like 13 or 12 and a half or whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and release that. But the striped bass is 18 inches and it's actually 20 inches, but 18 inches is the minimum. So I'm good on the striped bass. So, but I'm gonna let the uh, white bass go. Well guys, I'm gonna probably go ahead and wrap it up because the wind picked up and it felt like it might actually start raining and it's supposed to rain today. And I really don't want to get drenched. But it's been an amazing day out here. I can't ask for more. I got me my striper. So what I'm going to do is go back to the boat ramp, get loaded up, head back, and tonight we'll cook up the striper. So that was amazing. Just even catching those white bass was a blast. So it's been a very beautiful day out here. It's been overcast, so we haven't been crazy hot. It's just been awesome. So see you at the catch and cook. All right, I'm down here at my dad's place. And we're gonna start cooking up the striper and we're gonna do it on his grill because I don't have a grill and I wanted to try try it. <clears throat> Ooh, sorry. But so here it is. And there's the striper. I got a pretty nice some pieces out of there. And all we're gonna do is very simple. We're just gonna do salt and pepper and the oil. And that's it. I just wanna try it. I've never tried striper before, and I'm very stoked to try it. So we're gonna get to cooking. Guys, we're gonna go ahead and salt and pepper this. And look at that piece of meat. Doesn't that look good? It's a big piece of meat too. Like I said, that striper was 20 inches, I believe. It was a good size. Ooh, here's the chisel. Ooh, that looks good. Mm. Oh, it's about to fall apart even without it. Ooh, that looks good, actually. Look at that. Look at there. Looking good. Got the second one here. Flip it over. Look at that. And it'll be interesting to see what it tastes like compared to other bass, like largemouth or spotted bass. <laughs> All right, guys, we're done. So we're going to get on a plate. And then we are gonna try it. And I'm hoping it's good. All right guys, it was done. I just squirted some lime on here. So we are gonna try it. See what it tastes like. Wow, that is good. It's not tasty. It does not taste, I mean, it's not tasty. <laughs> it doesn't taste like fish. It tastes really good. That's funny. But let me show you what it looks like. It's a beautiful piece of meat right there. But it is delicious. Well guys, actually, we just tasted it, and it has a little bit different taste than regular bass, or I don't know, what would you call it? It's got a different texture than regular bass. It has more possibly of a chicken texture. Mm -hmm. Very chicken. good. I don't know if it's chicken, but it's actually very no, it good. Does it doesn't like, taste like fish at all. It's like a delicious. Like, Would you say the thigh meat of chicken? Like, you know, there's certain parts of chicken that's like that softer, so, like, that's mm. weird. It does. Wow. Well, it's that was delicious. Though. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.